Good evening, everyone. This is Dale Ketter, and I'm back for more Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. It is 9 p.m. in the great state of misery. And today, I'll be starting up with Chapter 2 of the official campaign. In my last stream, I finished up the Chapter 1 finale too quickly, and I had a little time left to talk to Arabeth and Aaron Gend. Now, we'll be talking to the other companions. Ah... Uh, let me see. Yes, I have all of their quest items, so they should be... Um, okay, so I guess it reset uh, because... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works from a coding perspective, but uh, what happened was it detected that I had completed all of their quests in Chapter 1 and carried it over to the Chapter 1 finale. And I guess they gave me new versions of their quest of their uh, employment items in chapter two. Anyway, uh, let's start with Vadinak, our friendly neighborhood sorcerer, who I don't really use because you know sorcerers suck as companions in this game. Spellcasters suck in general. Good to see you again. Though in actual fact, I cannot say I am really surprised. When I heard Arabeth was recruiting people to aid in the search for the cult behind the Wailing Death, it was a simple logical leap to assume you would be one of those recruited. Uh, what are you doing here, Badinak? When we parted ways, Plowshare, I meant to continue my explorations of the north. But then I heard Arabeth was recruiting mercenaries to join in the search for the cult behind the plague. What is that hissing sound? Oh, there's a... It's that thing, it's a steam thing. There's a hissing sound when the camera is right on top of it. Or rather, when my left ear is right on top of it. You may have discovered a cure for the plague and flushed out those behind it, Plowshare, but the process by which the plague was spawned has not yet been determined. Given my scientific interest in this plague and my desire to ensure it is never again unleashed upon Faerun, it was only logical that I answer Arabat's call for aid. How much would it cost to hire your services? When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Nasher is sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves available to whomever requires our assistance. So in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Have you heard any rumors about the cult since you've come here? I have heard people claiming the cult has a base in the plains to the south. Others insist there is undeniable evidence of the cult in the forests to the east. But still others swear the cult is hiding in the city of Luskan to the north. Obviously, such rumors and hearsay are of little value. I prefer to put my faith in hard empirical evidence. Evidence I can observe with my own two eyes. As yet, I have found no evidence I consider reliable. But you must have an opinion of where to start looking. I don't think you understand. Without the proper data to analyze my evaluation of the situation, would without the proper data to analyze my evaluation of the situation would result in a hypothesis with an, accept with an unacceptable margin of error. Naturally, I have formed some preliminary theories, but if I were to venture any opinion on this matter, it would be nothing more than a complete and utter guess. So guess, body knock. Sometimes you've just got to play hunch. Ah, uh, hunch? You are a strange man, Plowshare, but I suppose if I were forced to make a... I uh, guess I would say we should start our search in the Neverwinter Wood to the southeast of Port Last. Why there? Roots, herbs, and other flora grow in abundance in the forest, many of which can be used to heal a variety of illnesses. It is only logical to assume such plants can also be used to bring sickness and death. I need to silence my phone. There we go. Plus, the woods are shunned by most civilized people. They believe they are haunted, making it a perfect place for a secret hideout for a large group. The Neverwinter Woods seems to be the only place that provided the seclusion and the materials that would have been necessary for the cult to bring about the Wailing Death. At least, that's my best guess. You seem to have some solid reasons for a guess. As I said, I had a preliminary hypothesis. However, I would not be at all surprised to find my theory about the Neverwinter Winter Wood to be wrong. So, are you going to investigate the woods? I am an accomplished sorcerer, Plowshare, but I also have a realistic understanding of my own limitations. Surviving the wilds of this region alone would be a challenge that surpasses my capabilities. 
Besides, Arabeth has hired us so that we may serve and assist others who are more suited for heroism and great deeds. You are a well-known hero, Plowshare. If I were to accompany you, I am certain my skills would be of some use. I could use a sorcerer by my side, Bodinak. Then I will be glad to join your cause, Plowshare. It is an honor to serve with a hero such as you. I will follow you and perform to the best of my abilities, according to the orders you have given me. Any time you wish to issue new orders, you have only to speak to me again. Alright, so let me see how many layers of this uh, quest I can unlock at level 8. Is there something you need? I just want to talk for a while. I am a staunch proponent of the free exchange of ideas, Plowshare. What is it you, you wish to know? If we're going to be traveling together, I'd like to know a little more about you. As you know, I come from Lantan, an island renowned for its inventions and scientific advances. From that you can rightly conclude that I myself am of an analytical and curious nature. You also know I am a sorcerer, and from that you can no doubt draw further conclusions. Th though in all truth, my chosen profession is rather uncommon among the Lantanese culture. Why are sorcerers so uncommon in Lantan? The, mystery, the mysteries of the arcane are not as eagerly sought out in my homeland as they are in other places. We have inventions to accomplish many of the things others rely on magic to perform. In my homeland, there is no shame attached to what I do. It is merely seen as unusual, though I will admit it is not the future my father envisioned for me. I was his eldest son, and I suppose my father wanted me to follow in his own footsteps. But flowers, plants, and gardens never heard, held much interest for me. Uh, what was he, a druid? Druids worship nature, Plowshare, but we in Lantan seek to control and direct nature, to extract what is useful and remove that which is harmful. Agronomy is a well-respected field in Lantan, and my father was one of the finest horticulturalists on the island. His pioneering research in cross-pollination and grafting techniques was responsible for the creation of 26 unique species of plants. Because of my father's work, Lantan's agricultural yields increased, as did the island's supply of medicinal herbs, and the beauty and variety of our flowering species is unparalleled anywhere on the mainland. I need to turn this down. We see advanced. Uh, there's no, there's no way to get rid of the ambient sound. Ah, uh, that's fine, I suppose. He sounds like a great man. A finer gnome could not be found the length and breadth of Faerun, Plowshare. I suppose that is why I find the gulf that has grown between us so painful to accept. What do you mean? My father and I had a, f a falling out. Please, Plowshare, this is difficult for me to speak of. I am not sure I wish to discuss this with you right now. Perhaps later I will be in a mood to speak more of my tale, but for now we should focus on your mission. The cult responsible for the Wailing Death must be found. Let us... Uh, badger him about it again. Perhaps later... Okay, so he... We don't have it yet. Perhaps later I will be in a mood to speak more of my tale, but for now we should focus on your mission. The cult responsible for the Wailing Death must be found. Right, who's next closest to me? It's Linu. Hello. I had hoped that you would show up here, my friend. I heard that Erebeth recruited you to stamp out the evil cult that was responsible for the plague. Linu, what a surprise. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. I thought we had parted for good, Plowshare, but the goddess has her own plans that I must follow. I went back to the Trade of Blades to prepare myself for a journey home. I was only there a few hours when I was approached by Lady Arabeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. She told me that Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that has brought so much suffering to his city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Neverwinter to come to Port Lass to join in the search. I was afraid I might have missed you while I was changing my clothes. Changing your clothes? Oh, when I came in here, a waitress spilled some drinks. She soaked your clothes? Well, no, I bumped into her, and when the drinks crashed down, I leapt backwards into a dwarf, knocking over his ale and stew. So that messed you up? Um, no, the food and drinks landed on the floor, but the dwarf crashed into a half orc, causing the knife he was eating to slice open his cheek. That's when the brawl started. And you wrecked your outfit in the brawl. I managed to stay out of the brawl, hiding under a table and feeling awfully guilty. When the fight was over, I felt I should help clean up the mess. So you got dirty cleaning up? No, I wore an apron and, I, and managed to stay pretty clean. Then I stepped outside for a breath of fresh air and slipped in a mud puddle. So then I had to go change. 
Why did you just tell me you slipped in a, in a puddle from the start? I, I didn't want you to think I was clumsy. I'm waiting here at the orders of Lady Arabeth. So you're working for Arabeth? Lord Nasher ordered all mercenaries to come to Port Last to help discover the whereabouts of the cult that nearly destroyed his city. I spent weeks wearing myself out trying to help ease the suffering of plague victims. I jumped at the opportunity to bring the culprits to justice. Have you heard any rumors about the cult since you've come here? I haven't heard anything specific about the cult, but I have heard about some trouble around Neverwinter Wood. Neverwinter Wood? I don't know very much, but apparently there was a ranger in town here that was telling of animals savagely attacking anyone in or around the woods. Having failed to destroy us with their terrible disease, it would hardly shock me to find out that the cult had struck up with a plague of vicious animals. Is there anything else I can help you with, Plowshare? Are you planning to travel there? I'm not, sh I'm not much of an investigator. I have been ordered to travel with anyone who has need of a healer. You are the one who knows how to solve mysteries, Plowshare. I would love to help you, though. I have strong abilities in the art of healing, and I can also stand on my own in a fight. I would be a valuable resource for your quest. I am often in need of a sk skilled healer. Join me. It would be a great pleasure, Plowshare. I look forward to our, to our adventures together. I will follow you and perform to the best of my abilities according to the orders you have given. That's this exactly what uh, uh, Body Knock told me. Anytime you wish to issue new orders, you blah blah blah. All right, let's get your first part of your uh, quest. Uh, I love chatting with you, but don't you think we should we should focus on your mission right now? Tell me, how do you like being an adventurer? I always wanted to be an adventurer, Plowshare. I have a natural curiosity about everything, and I wanted to experience the things I read in books. But I am from Everaska, the home of philosophers, mages, scholars, and students of the mysteries. Adventurous souls are few, and they are often looked down upon, except one. Oh, who is that? Synth Flannerel was a handsome, charismatic, intelligent, adventurous archaeologist. He was respected within Everaska and other intellectual circles in places like Waterdeep. He was considered the most eligible bachelor in Everaska. Your husband. Actually, I didn't like him at first. I was reading a text on an ancient race one night in the temple library. The author was writing about his adventures seeking lost relics in exotic, dangerous loca locales. There should be an E here. I slammed the book on the table, calling the author a lying, pompous fool. Another elf was sitting on a chair near me with his face in a book. He asked me what I was reading. I told, I told him the name of the book, and he laughed. In my youthful arrogance, I went on to list the large number of errors in the author's logic. Was it really that bad? When I finished, he began to refute every point I had made. It was, I quickly discovered, synth lanerol. When I realized the mistake I had made, I screamed and ran from the room. Despite my blundering, I must have made an impression on him, for, it, for he pursued me from that day on. Eventually he won my heart, though only th through an act that almost cost him his life. What did he do? Let us not talk of such things right now, sweet plowshare. We must hunt down the cult responsible for the wailing death. Perhaps we can speak of this later when the time is right. Okay, so your quest will not be unlocked until uh, everyone else's quest will be... Until I level up to at least nine, I think. So let's move on to Sharwin. So we meet again. The others had told me Arabeth had recruited you to find cultists. I can't say I'm surprised. You've acquired quite the reputation for yourself, haven't you? I'm surprised to see you here, Sharwin. And why is that? Just because we went our separate ways in Neverwinter, I'm supposed to disappear off the face of Faerun? If you haven't noticed, there's a shortage of good adventurers. Lady Arabeth approached me at the Trade of Blades to hire me on Lord Nasher's behalf, just as you were, I imagine. It looks like Lord Nasher is pulling out all the stops to find this cult. The search in Neverwinter is immense, and we mercenaries have been sent to Port Last to join the effort with you and Arabeth. Lucky us? So you were conscripted into service by Arabeth? I've been paid good coin for my services by Lord Nasher, actually. It's another chance at acquiring some fame in my eyes, even though I've been told to merely offer assistance to you and Arabeth for now. So, do you need my help? Do you have any inf information of the cult behind the Wailing Death? The cult could be practically anywhere. You may want to look in the hills by the Green Griffin Inn. I've heard many tales of monsters raiding the roads nearby in force. So I've noticed, um... Bodynock is trying to steer me, I think, uh... 
in Neverwinter Wood, Neverwinter Wood, and this one is uh, Green Griffin Inn, that's the north. I have heard many tales of monsters raiding the roads nearby in force. Bugbears and orcs, mostly. Apparently they were being directed by some humans, however, which would make it quite odd. At any rate, since Luskin is wrapped up in its own concerns, the countryside has become open season for banditry. These monsters, however, are more organized than is normal. I could use someone by my side. It's about time you ask. I'm at your disposal, Plowshare. Alright, let's talk to her. Yes? Is there something you need? Okay, if we're to be companions, I'd like to know a little more about you. Mine is no great tale, Plowshare. If you like, I could tell you of my beginnings as a bard. Yes, tell me about that. Well, let's see. I learned the majority of my trade from Danon, my partner and my love. It was he who took me away from Neverwinter and my family. We were a team, a singing duo who earned our keep in taverns, traveling from town to town along the Sword Coast. We would camp off the roads, and I would listen in awe as Danon told me the old legends by the firelight. I loved him more as each night passed. Ah, uh, so why aren't you with him now? An excellent question. At the time, I didn't think anything could separate us. He was my first, you see, and my belief in our love was absolute. It turned out that those times were the best. I should have cherished them more, for things were quickly about to get much worse. The fateful day came when we crossed into Am in the south. We received a rather sudden and unexpected invitation to sing before one of the wealthiest courts in Athkatla. This was bad news? Well, Danon was positive that our long months of playing in taverns had caught someone's attention and we were being rewarded. He was overjoyed. Myself, I was hesitant. I was not so sure of our ability, so questioning the motives behind the invitation was far easier. I urged Danon to ignore the invitation, but naturally he would have none of it. It was the beginning of the end for us, really, though I did not know it. Perhaps it is a story I shall tell you sometime. Uh, I'll hold you to that promise. I didn't promise anything. Perhaps I'll tell you about it. Perhaps not. We shall see. Come, let us adventure more. It will lift my spirits some, I think. So this is some random dude. Uh... Hello there. Hello, Plowshare the Sorcerer, hero of Neverwinter. I am Barrax, formerly a soldier of Neverwinter. Now I intend to hunt down the bastards who did this to us. Uh, how do you know my name? Everyone in Neverwinter knows your name. You were one of the pl uh, people who saved us from the plague, and I suspect that you'll help just as much in the search for the bastards who started it. Who are we searching for? The cult, of course, this mysterious organization that unleashed the plague on Neverwinter and killed so many innocent people. A hero like you is just what we need to find them. This sounds familiar, um, suspicious. I think he's one of the uh, cult spies in this area. I'll do my best. I'm sure that it will be more than enough. A lot of innocent people were killed, and this cult owes us a debt that can only be repaid in blood. That can only be repaid in blood. Give him hell for all this, Plowshare. All right. Uh, let's loot this container before we we move on to uh, who's next? Linu, Bonnax, Dunn, Sharwin. Okay, Grimno. We meet again. I taste a storm of slaughter on the air. I'm not surprised to find you here at the center of the whirlwind. What are you doing here, Grimnaw? When we parted ways, Plowshare, I meant to return to my order. But I bowed to the Silent Lord, and I discovered I could best serve his will by staying in Neverwinter for the time being. I am eager to find and slaughter those who unleash the wailing death upon Neverwinter. Thousands were taken by the, by, by the disease, the essence stolen from the grasp of true death. That was why I answered Lord Nasher's desperate call for mercenaries to come to port last. He is also anxious to root out those behind the Wailing Death. So you were conscripted into service by Arabeth. When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Nasher is sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves available to whomever requires our assistance. So in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Do you have any information on the cult behind the Wailing Death? Their location is well hidden. However, I would not be surprised to learn they are connected with the village of Charwood, that is the south area. Charwood? 
The town has isolated itself from the rest of the world far to the south of Port Last. Few outside my order even remember such a place exists. The town is a strange place. There is a foul taint upon it that we of the long death can feel. None of the emissaries my order has sent south to investigate Charwood has ever returned. It would not surprise... <laughs> surprise... It's a typo. It's what, it would not surprise me to discover links to the cult behind the Wailing Death in that unnatural place. Is there more I can do for you, Plowchair? I could use a monk by my side. Then together we shall sow death and destruction throughout the land in our quest to destroy those behind the Wailing Death. Is there something? Alright, story time. If we're going to be traveling together... Oh, okay. Conversation is one way to pass the time until the Silent Lord comes to claim us. What do you wish to speak about? Question mark. If we're going to be traveling together, I'd like to know a little more about you. I am a monk of the Order of the Long Death Plowshare. I am defined by the customs, tenets, and beliefs of my order. Simply put, I worship death. Understand I care nothing for the petty gods who squabble over and lay claim to death's portfolio, for I serve death itself, the silent lord who rules us all. Tell me more about your order, Grimno. We of the long death train, study, and serve our masters. We strive to trans transcend the earthly world through mental discipline and philosophical understanding of death. We worship the very essence of, si of Silent Lord, and we honor the tools that prepare us all for our inevitable inescapable end. Pain, suffering, torment, agony. Our beliefs are difficult for most to accept, and the order of the long death has many powerful enemies. What kind of enemies are you talking about? Our embrace of the Silent Lord has brought us into conflict with many who do not understand the beauty of death. Many fear their mortal end, for most we will simply use pain, anguish, torture, and suffering to release them from this fear. We will prepare them for the cold embrace of the Silent Lord. But there are some who go to extremes to avoid their fate. They use foul rituals and dark necromancy to deny the Silent Lord that which is his due. You're talking about the undead, right? Liches and zombies and the like? The undead are a foul abomination, a denial of the natural order. We of the long death are in constant conflict with necromancers and their minions. I have seen firsthand the horrors of a war with the undead, Plowshare. What do you mean? This is not the time to speak of such things, Plowshare. We must focus on rooting out the cult responsible for the wailing death. Perhaps we can speak of this later, when the time is right. Okay, uh, now let's talk to Dalen. It is a pleasure to see you again, though not altogether unexpected. I had heard that Erebeth recruited you to stamp out the foul cult that was responsible for the plague. I am surprised to see you here, Dalen. I know we went our separate ways, Plowshare, but it seems the gods have seen fit to bring us together once more. After we parted ways in Neverwinter, I returned to the Trade of Blades to offer my skills for hire. It was there I was approached by Lady Arabeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. It seems Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that brought so much suffering to his city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Neverwinter, in Neverwinter to come to Port Last to join in the search. So you were conscripted into service by Arabeth? When Arabeth recruited the mercenaries, we were all paid in advance for our services. Well paid. Lord Na Okay, this is exactly what uh, he said. Lord Nasher is sparing no expense in tracking down these cultists. Our instructions were simply to make ourselves available to whomever requires our assistance. So in that spirit, is there anything I can do for you? Do you have any information on the cult behind the Wailing Death? I have heard nothing of the cult, though many suspect, as I do, that answers might be found in the city of Luskan. That city has long been an enemy of Never Neverwinter, an evil plight upon the north. It is widely acknowledged as the home of murder murderers and thieves, a place with no honor. It would not surprise me to discover links to the cult in that den of evil. Is there anything else I can help you with, Plowshare? So, he is actually right. The cult is based in Luskan, but we can't actually go to Luskan until we like finish more of Chapter 2. I could use, to use a good fighter by my side. I would be honored to join my blade to your cause. Story time. My strength is in weapons, not swords, Plowshare. If we're... To be adventuring companions, I'd like to know a little more about you. There are no great secrets about me, Plowshare. I am what I am. My father was an orc, and my mother was an Uthgard of the Red Tiger tribe. I know nothing of my father. My mother would never speak of him. 
but I was raised among the Red Tiger tribe in the customs and traditions of the Uthgard people. I do not know what more I can tell you. Tell me about the Uthgard, about your customs and traditions. We Uthgard are a simple but noble people. We hunt the herds and live off the land. We worship the gods of our ancestors and the totems of our tribes. Some in the cities, cities fear us. They call us bloodthirsty savages, but they are ignorant of our ways. We are fierce warriors of great courage and honor, even if they do not understand. What was it like for you growing up? I will not lie. I was never allowed to forget about my father's tainted orc blood. Yet, if the tribe did not embrace me, at least they tolerated me. Like the other young boys of our tribe, I ran and climbed and swam and grew strong. I learned to hunt and fish. I learned the lore of our tribe. And most importantly, I learned the honor of a warrior. With my, mo with my mother's death, the time came for me to prove myself worthy of the tribe. I left in search of glory and honor in the outside world. To prove my spirit was true, I went to Luskan. Why did you go to Luskan? It was the closest city to our tribe, though I knew nothing of its foul, rotten character. If I had, I would not have gone. I have tried to forget my time in that accursed city, Plowshare. The memories are not pleasant. This is not the time to seek, speak of such things, Plowshare. We must focus on rooting out the cult responsible for the wailing death. Perhaps we can speak of this later, when the time is right. And finally, Tommy Undergallows. Well now, but is it you? Glad I am to see you. Isn't the country wonderful this time of year? So much better than the city with all that, um, burning and dying. You know. I'm surprised to see you here, T Tommy. Yeah, well, what's a halfling supposed to do? Me, I go where the money is. After you and I went our separate ways, Miss Arabeth there approached me and gave me plenty of money to hop along on this pony ride of hers. We are all supposed to help with the search. Seems like Lord Nasher wants to get rid of all the cultists who started this fight. I say good for him. Just goes to show that not all old people are useless and should be killed, you know? So you were conscripted into service by Arabeth? I've already been paid by Miss Arabeth, and good coin too, I might add. You'd think this Nasher fellow belched gold at will. I was just told that I'm supposed to help out wherever I can. How sweet and unspecific is that? I uh, don't suppose you actually want something, do you? Do you have any information on the cult behind the Wailing Death? Nothing more than anyone, no. You asked me though, Luskan's the place to look. Luskan? Oh, aye. The city has pirates and thieves galore. Anyone with any kind of bad reputation is more than welcome there, I assure you. Been there a few times myself. What better place for a frog to hide than among toads? Amongst toads. Not that I've ev any evidence to back that up or anything. I could good, uh, use a good rogue. I could use a good rogue by my side. Well, isn't it a coincidence? I happen to be a good rogue. Fine. This one rabbit town was beginning to bore me anyway. What can Tommy do? I just want to talk. Oh, what did you have in mind, my lord? My lord, If we're to be companions, I'd like to know more about you. Well, there's only so much you can know about me, my lord. Tommy Undergallows be the most famous halfling rogue in all of Calimport. That about sums it up. Oh, I have my tales of treachery and deceit, the likes of which have been told to wide-eyed little, little Kalishite, there should be no M here, Kalishite children, for many years. But I doubt you'd be interested in that. Oh, go on, you know you want to tell me. Well, let's see. Tommy had, ha, Tommy's had a bunch of friends and a bunch of enemies in his time. There's only been one who's been both, my arch nemesis Samuel Bumbleheart. Sammy and I were pals dating back to the good old days when we used to run wild through the streets as weedle urchins, stealing uh, avocados. Actually, he could be pronounced as avocados because of his accent. Avocados and pinching purses. When I started to gain a bit of notoriety on my own, however, Sammy became a mite jealous. Poor lad. Uh, neighbor's dog is barking. Fame was always Sammy's thing. He's always loved attention ever since he did that strip tease in the half orc bar to keep from being pummeled. I've always thought he was a bit of a diva. Mm, you seem to rather enjoy the fame yourself. Nah, not so much. It's a bit hard to pick a pocket when you have 20 suspicious eyes on you. Great with the lasses, though, I'll admit. Sammy was content for a while, but he'd get mad when folks always recognized me. The guards would chase me down the street, and he'd complain, Why didn't they chase me? 
Oh, he tried to show me up as a thief, not being very good, however, it only landed him in prison. In Kalimshan, that means you're as good as hung. I busted him out the first time, but that only embarrassed him. No good deed goes unpunished, you know, so Sammy had to take action. Uh, why, didn't you leave him, why didn't you leave him in prison? Well, the truth is, I didn't really mean to break him out. It was an accident, the kind that brings down half the prison and causes a mass escape. Happens all the time, trust me. I don't really know. I, I don't know why Sammy was so mad, really. He just seemed to lose it completely. All that shouting and turning red in the face it was just so sad. After all, he'd only broken a couple of legs. He could still walk, even if it was with a limp. Could I be held completely to blame? At any rate, Sammy decided enough was enough, and it was time to ruin his best pal, Tommy, once and for all. Mm -hmm. uh, what did he do? Sammy came up with a plan. Not the brightest plan, I suppose. He was never much of a planner. His last plan, in fact, was a heist that ended up with him being left naked and cold on a ship to Mastica. Well, alright, I did forget to go pick him up, but it was his plan. This plan would be different, however. <laughs> or so he thought. I'll have to tell you about it sometime, my lord. Alright, so I just activated all of requests. Tommy, Dalen, Grimno, Sharwin, Lino, and Bodinak. And I also did uh, Aaron's and Arabeth's uh, stories earlier. I, or rather, in my previous session. So, alright, quest items. You're all getting banished to the back. Crafting item. Mm. Linus token. So this is how the game keeps track of your uh, companion progress because each module in this uh, in this campaign is an entirely separate game for all intents and purposes. And carrying over items uh, with the character is the only way they can keep tra uh, the game can keep track. I'm not sure if they ever uh, added in an extra way to keep track in uh, future builds, but this was the first campaign and this was this was how they did it back then. Uh, I'm just gonna sort this out. All right. Uh, is there anything here? All right, so that should be good enough. Now I'm gonna go out and actually let's loot everything here before we go. Potion of haste. That's good. Click. Hold on. I need to check something. Hmm. Uh, browser. Checking something for a bit. Uh. Okay, let's close that. Back to the game. Oh, right. Uh, I believe there's a quest here. Uh, with Kendrak. Let's, and while we're at it, let's loot his uh, cabinet for two gold. Hey, I suppose you're here to sign up, are you? I've no time for a new apprentice, however, so off you go. Uh, sign up for what? For the Bloody Mercenary Guild, of course. Isn't that why you've come? Hmm, unless you're not here for training. Wait, now I'll place you. You're one of the folk who came uh, came with the Lady Arabeth, aren't you, from Neverwinter? My apologies, lad. We get so many strangers coming through the truth. We get so many strangers coming through town these days. After all, something I can do for you? Who are you? My name is Kendrak, head of the guild here and mayor of Fort Last, also known as the first captain. Your name be then. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Plasher the Sorcerer. Aye, I think I recall the lady mentioning you now. She said you'd be a hero, in fact. Which makes you d me doubly glad you're here. I have a problem someone competent like yourself might be able to help with, and there's coin in it for you to boot. Might you be interested? Ah, uh, what's the problem? I received word from Waterdeep not long ago that a group of criminals escaped from the Bulwark prison. Dangerous bunch, killers all. According to the word, the group be split up to avoid capture, but all of them be in this region. That makes me nervous, it does. Each of them has a sizable bounty for the left ear, marked with the seal of the bulwark to prove that they be dead. 
This too dangerous a task to set me own men to it, but perhaps he might be up to the challenge. What does he think, lad? How much are the bounties? There be five criminals escaped, and a bounty of 300 gold pieces exists for each of them. Um, how dangerous? Just how dangerous are these men? Not all be men, in fact, but all be quite deadly. If he finds them, be careful. At least they be separated now, not all together. So I would have to bring back their ear. Aye, they be not wanted alive any longer. The seal of the prison on their ear identifies them. It be, it be easier than carrying the body. Yeah, I'll do it. This is a relief to hear that, lad. If left free and alive, these criminals would become a problem, I am sure. I hope you find them all. The five be named as follows. Zor, the, the Sturge... Wy uh, Wyvern, Delilah, and Yeskar. Tell me about Zor. Zor be a minotaur, so he should stick out wherever he goes. He be strong and a fierce warrior, but is a bit, uh, but is a wee bit simple in the head. I am told that he has many friends still in Luskan. It may be that he will be there, or at least attempting to enter the city. Tell me about the Sturge. The Sturge be a strange one, a gnome thief, it is said, who believes himself to be the smartest man alive. The gnome were sighted last in the wildlands along the south road, though he could be anywhere there. Uh, tell me about Wyvern. The Wyvern is an elven man, a renowned bandit who is familiar with the ways of the wood. He be deceptive and cunning, and skilled with the bow. The elf has not been sighted, but I have little doubt he be hidden within the, ne the Neverwinter wood. Best search for him there. Uh, tell me about Delilah. A female halfling who is known to be cruel and wicked. She be an assassin who comes out of Luskan. I hear the city be closed up tight, however, so I doubt she'll be there. Last word I have of that one is that she was spotted east of town and then all but vanished. Ah, uh, tell me about Yeskar. Yeskar be a fierce half-orc murderer, and it were he that masterminded the escape of all of these criminals. Of all the ones that have escaped, tis Yeskar who has remained the most elusive. I have not a clue where he might be, though he will not stray far. Ah, uh, let me ask you something else. Uh, what kind of guild is this? This be the mercenary guild. Here I train fighters to hone their skills, and we see to hiring them out. Can you train me? In such a short time, it would be it would benefit ye little lad. And besides, as I already said, the guild be full. Do you sell arms and armor then? Nay, if you wish as such, go and speak to Haljal at the cracked anvil. He would have all you need, I assure you. Can I hire one of your mercenaries? Ah, if you wish, you would need to speak with, uh, to them yourself, however. They decide for themselves and sets their own prices after all. Yeah, I already hired one. So, I guess I'll be going. I wish you the best luck on your quest, lad. Description. This man, uh, this man, <laughs> this man brow. This man's brow is wrinkled as if he has carried the weight of the world for a long time now. Alright, we've pretty much talked to everyone here, so it's time to go outside. And welcome, Twitch viewers, to Chapter 2. Oh. Um, hello, sir. Or is it my lord? I I'm not very good at this. It's just that you look like an adventurer, and my pa and I could certainly use some help. Calm down. What seems to be the problem? Well, me and my pa, his name's Gerald. Everyone in Port Last knows him. We live on a farm just north of the, t of the town gates. There's lots of monsters that live in the hills around our farm. Normally, they don't bother us so much, but lately they've been ambushing travelers and caravans and such, being real bold. They even went and kidnapped my mother while me and Pa were were away from the farm last week. So my Pa sent me to town to get help. Ah, uh, surely someone in authority can help you. Pa says he sent lots of messages about the troubles, but the mayor's all caught up helping Neverwinter. He's got no time to help us. Uh, there were some other adventurers who went before, but none of them has come back. I was hoping maybe you could do what they couldn't. Um, alright, I'll help. That would be great, my lord. I'm sure my pa would, would appreciate it. To get to our farm, you, you just need to go through the north gate and follow the road a bit. I'll stay here for now and find some more people to send to pa until he calls me back. I'm sure you'll do the trick, though. Just go and talk to him. What is this? So, this is an older version of the game. Um... Uh, after the uh, one of the uh, in, uh, conventions that they started using was to have the actual sign content be the name of the sign, and have the contents of this uh, have what's written there be uh, the actual information instead of having to click on it like here. 
click Alliance Arms in. So they actually have the sign talk, to, uh, speak to me, uh, and tell me what it is. I guess it makes sense because you have to be close, but it's really inconvenient. You have to click on it to uh, read what's on it. Um, I'm actually actually want to sell some stuff. I know there's a vendor. Actually, no. Let's stop by the magic shop first, which is above here. Loot. And this is the magic shop that I mentioned in my uh, playthrough of chapter one, where you need reagents to even access the shop. Tommy, let's rob the nice lady, our guild, our guildy, from the many starred cloak. Welcome to the shop, as I like to say. I am Eltura Saptil, and a finer collection of wares you are not apt to find. What kind of wares do you sell here? Why, I sell only the finest assortment of magical goods. Tr truly, you will find no better collection than mine. Uh, can I see your merchandise? Alas, I don't show my rare and valuable goods to just anyone who is curious. To look at the goods, you must give me a magical reagent. Do you have anything that might interest me? Uh, yeah, I have one. Uh, do I want to give her that? Fairy dust. Yeah, fairy dust is something I can get more of in Neverwinter Woods. Sure, why not? Let's give it give it to her. Yes, it'll, this will do quite well. Come, let us take a look at what we have to offer you then, shall we? Time to sell these things. actually need to uh, increase the volume once more since we're out of that area. Alright, what nice things can we buy? Uh, nothing really. Although they do now have the plus two versions of these items. Nymph Cloak plus two. Yeah, I will get that. Greater Battle Robe. What does this do? Ah, nope. I'm not getting that. Nymph Cloak. For the upgrade. Um, what else? Uh, hmm. Nope. I prefer my Charisma. Belt of Guiding Light. Uh, immunity to Death Magic. Ah, eh, no. I already, I already have a belt. Uh, boots. I believe the boots of hardiness are over here uh, by the druid shop. It doesn't actually improve our uh, charisma modifier, but uh, if I find another plus, uh, item that buffs charisma, that should uh, help as well. Fenberry, I could have used that as a reagent. Arrow. Alright, let's talk to this dude, and he's also going to give us a quest. Ballard. Hello there to you. My name is Ballard. I'm looking for someone interested in a dangerous mission. Might you be interested? Yes, my name is Plowshare. What do you need? Well, friend, it's not just what I need. There are many lives at stake. There has been trouble over in the Neverwinter Wood of late. It started with travelers bringing back tales of normally peaceful animals attacking them for no reason. Then farmers and woodcutters began to disappear. The animals have been attacking everyone, even the rangers and druids that are there to help the forest. I fear that without assistance, whole villages near the wood might be destroyed. Uh, what can I do to be of assistance? There is a grove of druids that are trying to find out what is wrong. The leader is Owl. He sent three of his best druids into the wood in search of clues, but nobody has heard from them in a while. It is possible that the druids have returned in my absence, but Owl could still use your assistance in preserving the wood. If you are brave enough, seek Owl in the grove near the forest's edge. Uh, I guess I should check it out then. I hope to hear from you again when the forest is returned to its natural state. In the meantime, should you need any nature-related supplies, I would be happy to show you my wares. I would like to see your wares. Yep, plus two boots. Um... That's really expensive. Uh, I'm not sure I should get that right now. No, I'm going to skip that right now. So we had our first quest, which is a Gerald's wife. 
which uh, requires us to go north here past the north gate I see on my on my dashboard here that I have been streaming for a little over 48 minutes so I have about a little over an hour left before I uh, turn in for the night so I should be able to finish uh, this quest up click north oh that was an autosave that was ominous Gerald a worried frown covers this commoner's face as he goes about his business. Wow, you're overpowering. You're like higher level than me. Hello there. I'd warn you to be careful of danger near these roads. <coughs> like Excuse you me. Can handle yourself, but better safe than sorry. Listen to old Gerald then and watch out. You're Gerald? Your son mentioned you. He did, did he? He's a fine lad he is. I expect then that you're some manner of adventurer that he thought could help us, I? He seemed to think so, yes. It's a dangerous thing to ask of anyone, but it might be worth your while, lad. Let me fill you in, in case the boy didn't. The hills in this area are home to creatures of all sorts. Bugbears, goblins, and the like. Normally, they don't trouble us much. Us much. Since Luskans stopped patrolling the area, mind you, they've become plenty of brave. Plenty brave. For weeks now, they've been attacking anyone passing through these parts. Attacking the farm a few times, too. That's when they made off with my wife. I figure it's all that Durgab's doing. Damn ogre will get what's coming to him one way or another, I swear it. What's this about your wife? Leia is her name. She was taken from the farm one evening when the boy and I were out scouting the hills. Nothing we could have done about it. Them creatures have never shown any interest in taking folk before. I'm not even sure why they should start now. Durgab's behind it for sure, though. I can only pray that she's alright yet. I'll get her back somehow, and then that ogre will pay for all the grief he's caused me. Who is this Dergyab? Dergyab is an ogre mage, a rather cunning sort, who's decided he's just the critter to lead all these other monsters. How he got it into his head, I haven't a clue, but from what I can tell, he's gone and built himself an army. What he intends to do with it scares me just a little. I went and sent a warning off to my old friend Aaron Gen, but I haven't heard back from him yet. I suppose he's got more important things on his plate right now, all things considered. You know Aaron Gen? Aye, I do. An old friend, I said. You don't think I've spent my whole life as a farmer, do you? <sighs> we all settle down some day, lad. If I were in my younger days, I'd go into those caves and find Leah for myself. I wish I could. As it stands, I'll have to wait for some younger adventurer to take up the task for me. Why would Luskan stop patrolling? You haven't heard? Since Neverwinter had its plague, that Luskan's gone and shut their walls up tight. Oh, you haven't heard? Since Neverwinter's had its plague, that Luskan's gone and shut their walls up tight? That should be a question mark. Uh, no one goes in, no one comes out. I never liked their soldiers much, like bandits sometimes, the way they act. Since they stopped patrolling, however, it makes you realize what worse things they kept in check. If Luskan was keeping order, Durgyab never would have gotten it in his head to make his move, and my wife would still be here. Ah, uh, perhaps I could help. Maybe you could at that. I can reward you if that's what you're keen for. I'll warn you, though, you wouldn't be the first adventurer to head into the hills. Uh, there have been other adventurers? Aye, a few have passed this way and headed into the hills to check out the creatures for themselves. None have returned, I am afraid to say. What kind of reward are we talking? To be honest, I haven't much left for my adventuring days. I'd be happy to offer what gold I have though to have some proof of what happened to my wife or better yet to have her returned i'd also offer gold for durgab's head to know for sure that he won't be pestering anyone else in these parts i know it's not much chances are durgab will have plenty of loot himself plenty to loot himself i will look into it as soon as i can i'd be grateful for it find my wife or find my wife or bring me proof of what's happened to her and bring me durgab's head if you can either would be a great service Okay, I think it's Solomon. Wow. They told me you had a fine face, but gosh, you're the hero of Neverwinter. That much is sure. I don't know about hero. I beg to differ. You saved an entire city from a certain and horrible demise. Surely such a person deserves consideration as a hero. What do you wish then, exactly? Er, well, I suppose I should know for sure that you are who I think you are. I didn't want to make a mistake after all. I am Plowshare, what do you ask? Really? You are actually Plowshare the Sorcerer then? Yes? Yes, that's me. 
So, you are the plowshare of the sorcerer from Neverwinter, yes? The hero who saved the city. You do look the part, but I must be sure. Uh, what is this about? I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to make sure it was really you. I want to thank you. I have family in Neverwinter, and you saved their lives when you cured the, the plague. I wanted to give you this ring as a token of my gratitude. Um, that's very nice of you, thank you. I don't know if it's magical, but I, it's always brought me luck. I hope it brings you luck, too. Thank you again, Plowshare, and farewell. He just teleports away. So, spoiler alert, this uh, <laughs> this ring is a tracker, basically, that allows them to track my movements. So they can try to assassinate me. Um, it doesn't actually affect you if you uh, drop this. I think they still are able to track you. Uh, this ring was given to you by Solomon, an odd-looking halfling who approached you and offered the ring as a gift to a hero of Neverwinter. Ah, uh, let's drop that there. Ding. Is there anything here? Gerald's house, level one. He has two levels. Interesting. Okay, okay. All right, let's loot our employer before we search for his wife. Search for the cult, Solomon. A halfling named Solomon approached you in the Alliance Arms oh, Inn. No, it wasn't the Alliance Arms Inn. It was uh, in Gerald's farm. I haven't reached the Alliance Arms Inn yet. Oh, wait, wait, no. It assumes it assumed that uh, we got. He met us in the Alliance Arms Inn inside Port Last. Except that's not what happened. He actually approached us on the road. Okay, okay. That's just an oversight from 18 years ago and unlikely to ever be fixed. Money, and that's it. All right, I guess it's time for us to buff ourselves for combat. So one thing I uh, fiddled with earlier today was to add uh, uh, Twitch alerts and a Twitch chat overlay to the stream. However, no one has showed up yet, so uh, I wouldn't be able to test it live right now. Alright, let's do this. Quick save. I think the caves are this way. Oh, dire wolf. I think these are the wolf caves. Oh no, it's just a random wolf. Oh wow, retro one. They're screwed. And a crit! Yay, heart of the cards. Heart of the dice. Alright, uh, nothing to loot. Let's move on. Durgeb's head, uh, so I think it's, I don't remember where the caves are, could it be here? There's animals here, we're just slaughtering them for XP. Got him. 43 XP for a piggy. Oh, the caves are here. Um, I guess I could start with these. Should, shouldn't there be goblins here? Cave. Oh, something to loot there. I'll come back for that later. Goblin and Orc Caves. Quick save. Okay, okay. Click. Money. Alright, uh, let's quick save and move on. Okay, there's Orcs here. You just sanctuaried. Uh, fireball. 
Actually, I could have just attacked him because I uh, actually passed my saving throw. Got him. Oh, there's actually another one here. And they're dazed. Got him. Getting close to level 9. Nice. That's a chest. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, it's done. Uh, more vendor trash. And more orcs. Got them all. That stairs down, at least downstairs. Um. Tommy, open that. There's more orcs here. I'm gonna have to just fireball them quickly. All right, let's do this. Strike at them. Attack. Got him. All right, so um I'm just going to continue onwards instead of a uh, Doing a full grind. Oh my! Uh, ow. Okay, I think there are no more traps. Hopefully, quick save. Bugbear caves. We're going down. Up. Oh, there's a trap. Ow. Got him. Strike at them. Attack. Stairs down. There's a prison there. Miss. Got it. Okay. There's like a area marked as a prison. Um, let's go there. Oh wow, lots of folks here. We got him. Uh, non magical, not worth looming. Okay, time to tentacle, y'all. Got it. Bugbear. It's a. That guy is a uh, prisoner being tortured. And now I just have to wait this out. The black tentacles. Most, thank most thankful I am. You have saved me, saved poor I from torture. Why were you being tortured? Chieftain of Bugbears has imprisoned I. At order of the master I, it was. I speaks against the master. What do you know about this master? The master's large creature, giant maybe, comes to the tribes and caves, takes strongest of us away, me not knows why. 
Where's this master, do you know? Be following the tunnel out of cell to north. It goes a little east and back south to tunnel down and temple. Master live down there. I never go there. I not no more. Yeah, well, move along. Leave this area for good. Guess I goes. I leave this hill far, far behind. Most kind is you. And there's Leah, the uh, wife of Gerald. I miss my family. A worried frown covers this commoner's face as she goes about her business. Okay, it's oh, generic. Over here. Oh, thank the I thought I was going to die. Every time they came close to me, their foul smells. I was so scared. Who are you? Leah. My name is Leah. I was working on the farm when I was attacked by those beasts. They kidnapped me and oh. Uh. oh. Um. All right, it should be. Uh, I didn't expect to find any prisoners. Can you make, get out on your own? I suppose I could. You did kill the monsters that were guarding me, right? Yes. Just follow the trail of carnage, and you'll be fine. Thank you so much, kind sir. I wish I could show you my appreciation. Please come visit me and my husband when, when you are done here. All right. Uh, primary objective achieved. Uh, secondary objective: kill Durgeab. Uh, okay, loot. There's a throne there. I guess we're gonna take that out. Okay, time to black tentacles with uh, Tommy aggroing everyone. Got him. Come here. Pull them here. Attack. Actually, I need to probably acid arrow you. No, I need to tentacles you. And then acid arrow. I'm going to be resting after this fight. Oh my. Yeah, I will probably level up after this fight. Oh wow, he's still up. Got him. Level up. Alright. Improve the phrase, concentration, lore. Persuade and spellcraft, as always. And I have another feat. Um, do I get maximized spell or greater spell penetration? I am getting greater spell penetration, probably. There's really nothing worth maximizing yet. Alright, so we have a lot more stuff. Uh. I'm thinking of sea invisibility or actually yes I remember now I'm gonna take death armor uh, elemental shield I guess and uh, for my third level spell I guess we're getting haste there we go ooh that is just normal padded armor a crossbow and some money. Quick save. Fire beetle's belly, that's weird. And I, Tommy, I need you to start detecting things. Alright, there we go. Disarm that thing, my dude. Another magic bag. Disarm. Ah, uh, it's done. Alright, time to oh there are enemies probably on this side, so I need to rest somewhere here. There we go.
And now I can cast this weapon, uh, this spell, uh, because it's actually uh, useful now, giving us a plus three item. Actually, let me see if I can level you up. Okay. Nope. What is your equipment now? Cook three plus one. All right, you are actually going to benefit from this. Mage armor, protection from evil, flame weapon, greater magic weapon, and then ghostly visage and shield on myself. <sighs> gonna take a while. So for how many buffs did I cast? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's it takes a minute to buff everyone. That's decent, I suppose. Not as bad. I, oh right, I have new spells. I need to allocate these. Elemental. Sh I'm gonna put these. Uh, uh, damage shields here. These are hilarious. I can actually like take out a lot of enemies by just casting those on myself and letting them uh, kill themselves on me by attacking me rather. Then I have this now to uh, improve my spell casting. Oh, this goes up. Mm. I went the wrong way. Heck. Stairs down. There it is. Hmm, did I not come? Oh, I haven't been here yet. Alright, so... Fireball, y'all. Let's do this quickly. Tommy, kill everyone. We don't need to cast buffs. They're too weak. Got him. This is a chest that needs opening. Open this before you disarm that trap. Ah, it's done. All right, now disarm this trap for me. Got it. Quick save. And down we go. Ogre caves and a quick save as well. Oh wow, traps. Fireball. Get him. Got him. Quick save. Oh, there's someone here. Despite the fact that he looks like a prisoner, this half orc has a savage ability about him. I don't recognize you. Have you come to finish what their gab started? No. You look more like intruders to me. And you look more like a prisoner to me. Well, yes, that's true. I am a prisoner. Durgab betrayed me and threw me in here when I was no longer of use to him. Who's this Durgab you mentioned? I would have assumed the other denizens of these caves would have filled you in on this by now. The Master is all they can babble about. Durgab, or the Master, if you prefer, is an ogre mage of some power. He was also my former partner until he fell in with that cult and betrayed me. Durgab was your partner? He was, at least he was until he went away and came back with that cultist. Before that, we recruited our army together. What were you recruiting an army for, and how big has it gotten? <laughs> for what else? To gain power? We wanted to do the same as Sistilis down in Arnhem. Maybe even raid Luskan. There aren't many soldiers yet. I was insistent on picking only the best of the bugbears, orcs, and goblins in these caves, and that's slim pickings. Tell me more about this cult he fell in with. I don't know much about it. Dergab came back from one of his outings with a cultist beside him. He changed. He claimed there had been a change of plans. Dergab only listened to the cultist after that, said he was preparing the army for some different purpose, something greater. 
I objected naturally, foolishly, as it turns out, seeing as where it got me. Tell me more about this cultist. His name's Ganon. Ganon! Zelda is a cool guy. He fights Ganon and isn't afraid of Triforce. He's an assassin or rogue or some such thing. I never spoke to him much, so I couldn't tell you more. Do you know what purpose the cult wanted the army for? No. Durgyab would only say that they needed the forces for the return, whatever that means. The cultists wouldn't elaborate, at least not to me. I don't need to hear anymore. You're free to go. I'll be glad to leave this all far, far behind. I thank you for releasing me, my human friend. We won't meet again. Now we just need to unlock it and I guess let him go. And he despawned anyway, so that wasn't a deal. That wasn't a an issue after all. All right, moving on. What is this? Spellcraft uh, gloves. I don't need that. Goblin fighter, you're getting fireballed. Attack. Got him. And you are getting tentacled. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. It's mostly goblins and they're immune to the black tentacles. Fireball time! Tommy is mostly uh, immune to fireball with his evasion. And now we can just attack this goblet. Got it. Quick save. Click. Yeah, I don't think any of these doors are uh, openable. Get him. More potions. Quick save. And, uh, there's the bad guys. Oh, wait, not yet. Got him. Oh, it's a goblin. Immune to black tentacles because they're too small to be grappled. Tommy, open this thing. Negative energy burst. Uh, not really that useful. It can drain strength at higher levels. Uh, yep, uh, but it's caster level 5, so it's only one strength drain. Not really that useful since you need a fortitude save anyway. Oh, they're already hostile. Alright, so I guess I'm tentacling you. Tommy, go get him. Tank them for me. Ow. Now I need to back off a bit. Let them get tentacled. Okay, I need to go invisible and not die to him because he has a wicked thingy there. Oh, his spell got interrupted because I turned invisible. He's dead. Got him. There's double axe, light crossbow. What is this? Ooh, that's a really powerful hat, helmet, because I can't identify it on my own. Uh, let me uh, store the heavy stuff in my uh, bag of holding. There we go. 
And let's loot everything else before I pop a potion of lore, so I don't uh, I don't waste that potion on just one item. Ooh, what is that? Belt of Inertial Barrier. Hmm. E that's redundant. I already have the damage reduction. And this is a chest. Ganon's Journal. I find I've grown fond of the monsters in these caves. They are savage, violent, and easily whipped into a frenzy by my puppet ogre mage Durgiap. Not entirely unlike the rest of us who have turned following Mogrim into a religion. He the puppeteer, we his willing puppets. And to think he sent me here to search for some ancient artifact as he sent my brothers to Charwood and the Neverwinter Wood. It isn't in this place. It would have left some telltale sign. It would want to be found. It would call me to it. Perhaps they have had better luck in the two woods. So instead of being a puppet, I have become the puppeteer. Not so grand as Malgrim, but even so, look how Durgab struts and schemes at my bidding. Okay. Cult Journal. And like before, there's nothing here. Okay, we've looted everything. And oh, look how convenient. There is a portal that goes up. So we don't have to backtrack. How nice of you, Bioware. Okay, now the time to drink the Potion of Lore. And ID that item. What is this? A Thavian Circlet. Ah, it's just plus two intelligence, plus one uh, saving throws, and plus one concentration. Ah, uh, no, that's not good for me. Doesn't do much, anyway. I'm a charisma based spellcaster and would be better served with my, um, with my helm of persuasion. Mask of persuasion, rather. Oh, ow. Holy crap. Ooh, a rod of the ghost. I recognize the art, even though, uh, I didn't know for sure that was what it was. I need to loot this and put this here. Unlock that. So this lets me cast a ghostly visage once per day. Freeing up a second level spell slot. It only lasts three minutes as opposed to my uh, nine minutes when I cast it myself. But you know, every little bit counts. Or helps rather. And we're back up back outside the caves. Alright, so I'm gonna clear these caves out some other time. I'm gonna return to, uh, what's his name? Jeril, and then uh, back to Arabeth to report on a job well done. Mission accomplished. We did it, Reddit. That's a topaz. And uh, as you can see, my ring of regeneration from uh, Body Knock it has been healing me while I've been doing everything. So it's very convenient. Uh, I'm almost back to full now. Well, hello, dear. Were you the one I told about them monsters there she is. bothering us around here? The ones who took my wife, Leah. Do you bring word? I see Leah made it back safely. That she did. She has returned safe and sound, which is more than I even thought possible. Thank you, lad. I shall be forever grateful. I hope this bit of gold will do us reward. Um, It'll do. I'll be nice to him. It is the least I could do. Is there something else, lad? The monster's, head, Durge the monster's leader, Durgeb, is dead. I have his head. <laughs> that is a relief, then, to be sure. We'll have none of this, his terrorizing anyone else in these parts. Thank you, lad. I hope this bit of gold will do us reward. I think Durgeb is worth a bit larger reward, no? Well, while I doubt any gold I might have would compare with what the Ogre Mage himself had, I did send you that way. This is all the extra I can spare. 50 gold. Thanks. Is there something else, lad? Uh, I'll be on my way. Hi. Do be careful if you go into the hills then, lad. I wish you well. So, um... It's only been an hour and 22 minutes, and I am actually getting hungry. So I will probably end this stream after I turn in this uh, journal to, I think, Arabeth? Uh, a cult agent named Ganon has been found and defeated in the Ogre Caves north of Port Last. The journal found nearby does not say where the cult is located, but it does suggest that other cultists have been sent to Charwood in the south. And I think you'd better stop looking into this <laughs> Like I said earlier, um, the game doesn't uh, take into consideration, uh, take, into, take into account the possibility that you would 
uh, ditched the ring somewhere, so Solomon still has a way of tracking me, apparently. Anyway, uh, sent to Charwood in the south and Neverwinter Wood in the east to search for some sort of important object. These two locations would seem to be likely places to continue the search. Uh, are you part of the cult? What do you know about them? All I know is that you're in way over your head, Plowshare. Consider yourself warned, hero. Teleports away. I can't. I can't examine him. All right. So um, that's ominous. So let's. Uh, I think we give it to Aaron. The gods smile on us that you remain yet unharmed for your efforts. With luck, success. Oh no, Arabeth. I am pleased to see that you remain safe. Have okay. Um. New information on the cult? I have located some information about the cult. This is good news. What have you discovered? I'm going to show her the journal. So the cult was responsible for stirring up the humanoids in the hills. You are to be commended for putting an end to that danger, indeed. While this information you bring is incredibly valuable, it still does not tell us where the cult is based. We need that information if we are to strike at them. Fortunately, it does mention where more cultists may be found. Charwood and the Neverwinter Woods. Search those places, perhaps, for the information we seek. Have you found any other information? Uh, nothing else, no. Then I wish you luck. Thanks, fam. So I just noticed I can ask them for the next parts of their story, but I'm actually really hungry. I, I just realized I haven't eaten anything yet, other than, I guess, a few meatballs and some mixed nuts. So I'm actually going to end the stream early here before I pass out. I'll share Twitch. Exit. All right. Um, I ended up doing one a uh, one quest uh, that was to rescue the farmer's the former adventurer's wife and to kill off the ogre mage and I we found evidence that uh, the cult is you know has some presence in the charwood and in the neverwinter wood and then I got hungry so um, that's it for now I'll see you folks some other time good evening and thanks for stopping by.